Tuesday night, work is done, can't go out, Lou Rawls gone, kettle's on, put your kettle on, pencil's out, news is off, got take out, spend all night, with good friends, best friends, life drawing, till the Get your sketchbooks out Everybody's drawing That's what it's about Quarantine is boring Get your sketchbooks out Lock down life drawing Ooh. Get your sketchbooks out Everybody's drawing that's what it's about. It's what it's about. Quarantine is boring. Quite boring. Get your sketchbooks out. I got my sketchbook out. Lock down life drawing. Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to the stream. Just want to say well done, everyone, uh, for your drawings last week. Absolutely incredible. So much gesture. So much. So much life. I really loved uh, looking at them and look, looking through the emails. And thank you for sharing on Instagram and everywhere. Um, fantastic work. I know some of you have joined the stream. Uh, been, you've been catching up with the previous videos and you're joining for the first time live tonight. So welcome and I hope you enjoy. Um, we've got something a bit different this week. We're going on a trip around the world. Uh, we're gonna be drawing models with um, traditional clothing and uh, from different cultures and, and different countries. And really, I wanna use this time to experiment. You know, we can, we can experiment. So using what we've learned over the past five weeks and let's try and inject some color, okay? So dig out your art box. If you've got any uh, pastels, if you've got any paints, if you've got, um, uh, you know, you might have acrylics, you might have watercolors, whatever you have, Dig it all out. Okay, let's do some multimedia experiments today and let's, uh, you know, make something really exciting on the page. So, of course, if you've only got a pencil and a sketchbook, that's definitely enough. You can definitely join in with that and, and still have a great time and, you know, be really expressive and, and experimental with your pencil marks. So, join in and, uh, yeah, let's look at the schedule, shall we? Let's have a look. Right. Tonight's schedule. So we're going to start off in Japan. We're going to fly over to Japan um, and do some quick warm-up studies. All right. Uh, then Colombia, India, Thailand, and gradually the poses are going to get a little bit longer. And each one hopefully will inspire you, and you can use perhaps a different material. Maybe try something you haven't done before. And we're going to have that all-important tea break. Take a little bit of time just to uh, settle. Then. Then we're going to head over to Slovakia, Namibia in Africa, and uh, we're going to finish up with Bhutan in uh, the, the, uh, the what is it the, uh, the Kingdom of Bhutan, and um, we're going to finish off there with a twenty-minute pose. So perhaps yeah, a bit of a longer one at the end there. As always, send your work in to jakebustle.art at gmail.com and share on Instagram jakebustle.art and use the hashtag lockdown loft drawing. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thanks for choosing to draw with me this week and I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's gonna be lots of fun. Um, yeah, let me know if we, I know we've got a load of worldwide sketches, so let me know if we visit your country or perhaps it's a place that you visited. Um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to know, so let us know in the comments. And um, yeah, if you enjoy the stream, um, uh, it, it'd be wonderful if you could uh, subscribe, you know, if you if you feel you want to and, and give the video a like that really helps us out So let's do it. Let's let's get started 
Um, so I didn't want to put my home address on this, but I've got a little got a little timeshare in the middle of London. So I thought we'd start there. Just a little property, quite central. But let's head over to Japan for our first for our first drawings. Love it. Don't know if you know, Japan was made up is made up of six thousand eight hundred and fifty two islands. Little fun fact. Gonna be loads of them coming your way. <laughs> ah, I've spotted someone to draw. How about this Japanese monk uh, just crossing the street? Right, so not so much colour in this one, but a great, a great image I think to start us off. Quite simple shapes. So I'm going to give you three minutes, and I want you to think of the straight lines and and them simple shapes you can hear. So the hat and the folds in the fabric. So I think I'm going to start with pencil, like a quick pencil sketch. And, and maybe switch to some ink and a brush, maybe you know, get a bit of a Japanese vibe uh, going on there. So I might, might introduce some color in the background, some of that, some of that, um, uh, the hedges in the background, but feel free to approach this in any, any way you want. I'm gonna give us three minutes and let's just warm up. Let's just get drawing. Here we go. Okay, so three minutes. Let's do it. So I really liked this image. I felt like he had a, a really nice, clear silhouette. Um, just really wanted to draw that. And the folds in the fabric are so, um, so nice looking. So yeah, this is kind of using the straight lines technique that we were looking at a few weeks ago, just to block in some shapes. I'm not worrying too much. Let's just get something on the paper. I feel like whenever you draw, the first drawing of a session is always, always pretty, pretty like you know tired or something. You you need to warm up so. Let's just get that first drawing out of the way. Get warmed up. Look at that. Nice shaped hat. So it's quite light, I know. Let's bring some ink in now. And uh, perhaps, perhaps just a little bit of charcoal over the shadows. To give a bit of a suggestion, and then let's bring some ink. Right. Try and get these nice folds and lines of fabric. And if you are, you're going to use inks or acrylics or any sort of messy paints make sure you're wearing an apron i've just wrecked my favorite pair of shorts with this ink testing this ink out <laughs> so yeah <laughs> not to worry be safe guys You've got a few seconds left, gotta be quick. Let's get some of that energy of these folds. I think I'm gonna put his face in, but maybe just the strap of the hat. Last few seconds, I think we're finished. Cool, something like that. Nice. We've got our first sketch out of the way. Ah, okay. Ashley's visited Thailand. Brilliant. 
last summer. Wonderful. We're heading there in a little bit. Okay, so first drawing done. Hope you enjoyed that, just warmed up. Um, and I've got a little bit of a longer, longer pose now in Japan. We're gonna stay in Japan. And I spotted this brilliant picture of uh, a geisha. Um, just absolutely wonderful. Look at all the patterns and the, and that, you know, this, um, this kimono is just absolutely wonderful. So I thought we have to draw this. I really, I'd like to give, give you more time to draw it, but we're still early, early days. Let's, let's use some pace. Okay. So three minutes, um, maybe you can just get some color in there and, um, and start playing around with a few lines. You don't have to draw, you know, the whole thing pristinely, but maybe just a few little elements, few um, focus, focuses uh, of interest. So let's give it a go. Right, I'm gonna start with red. something on the page. So we're not trying to make a masterpiece here, just a having a bit of fun with the materials and loosening up a little bit. There we go. So we can swap to a black, black pencil. Really challenging to this week. Gonna be fun. different red bikes now. It's quite nice. Okay. Maybe we can hmm. go back to this darker pencil and try and pick out a few details and things. So Japan is actually the Japanese word for sun origin. So I've got that lovely sun symbol on the flag. And geishas are entertainers. Uh, they practice they practice uh, traditional dance, song, music, and arts, and they're entertainers by trade. Really quite a 
quite an interesting culture. Yeah, so I'd love some more time on this. I think it's good to start with some speed. We could always come back to the drawings at another time. Let's just try and get a few more colours in there before we finish. A few oranges. Greens, nice natural plant looking greens. Old grains as well up here. Cool. There we have it. Five minute sketch of a geisha. Nice geisha woman in Japan. Oh, there's a little problem with the microphone. Hopefully that's sorted now. Was it making it like a little Tapping against the screen, tapping against the screen. Okay, great. Thanks, Max. Cool, let me know how you get on. We're just going to change paper and I'm going to open the window here, get a little bit hot. Cool. Brilliant. So, first few sketches in Japan. I hope you uh, enjoyed. Don't worry too much, okay? If it isn't what you expected on the paper, just go with it, okay? We're giving it a try and we're just warming up, all right? So, um, yeah, well done. And where are we heading to next? Let's have a look. So we're at Tokyo Tower. Heading off. Gotta love Google Earth, bit of Google Earth. Right over the Pacific. Ah, okay, Colombia. Okay, Santa Cruz, I think. Fantastic. So, Colombian, uh, Colombia, famous for their dances. Um, really, uh, really part of their culture, I think. Um, my research was limited, so if I get anything wrong, just let me know in the comments. <laughs> But uh, I was fascinated by these dresses and these this movement in the in the dances. Um, I don't think the tank top is traditional, but it's a nice image. You know, it's got some movement, it's got some gesture. So here's a seven minute pose. You've got some strong colours, some bold colours. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's let's go at this. Similar, I think, similar to last week with the gesture, because we've got we've got some nice curves there. Um, so yeah, seven minutes and we'll have a go. Cool. What am I gonna use? I think, start off with a bit of charcoal, I'm thinking. Yeah, a bit of charcoal. Hi, from, hi to Margo in Boston. Hi Jamie, hi Eleanor, Naomi, good to have you in the stream. Brilliant. Okay, so a quick one. Let's look at that. that line of action, perhaps something like this. Let's just part, start putting in some curves. So. lovely spin to this dress. Got to be able to capture that, haven't we? Brilliant. So yeah, guys, again, just 
I know when we come to drawing, sometimes it can be daunting and it can be, um, you know, quite a stressful thing. But let's give this time to you this week. Give it, give it to yourself as a gift. And, you know, it's not about the outcome. We're just experimenting and we are enjoying this time with the materials. Really feel the material, how it's touching the page, how it's making sounds, little scratches and things. And just be aware of that and, and quite present. Got this nice wrap on the head. So I was looking up things about Colombia, and um, apparently one of their favorite snack foods is uh, pink sauce. I think it's called. Yeah, pink sauce, which is just a mix of mayonnaise and tomato ketchup. I think that I think we call that burger sauce, don't we? But they put a little bit of lime in it, a little bit of little bit of rum or brandy, and they have it with seafood. I thought that was kind of funny. That's cool. Right, what have we got here? I'm gonna leave the face, I think. Let's bring in some color. So I need some, I need some colored pastel pencils or something like that. What have I got? Blues. Pencil from downstairs. Good. If I can't find it, just send Max to get one. <laughs> so I've got some yellow. I've got this blue here. Here it comes. I've got a light blue and a dark blue. Wonderful. You only have one. <laughs> Great, that's a bit better. Let's get some color on this then. Here we go. Let's keep the gesture, keep that movement. Love it. No time to think, just draw. Just draw. So we just want some sort of impression and some movement, perhaps. Thank you. 
white, maybe. There we go. Probably breaking all the rules in the book, but it doesn't matter, right? Cool. There we have it. Colombian dancer. So, hey. How did you get on? Let me know. Don't forget to send your work in. Really looking forward to seeing these expressive, you know, experimental uh, pictures. Just, yeah, just having, having fun, having fun with it. Cool. So we're in Colombia. Thank you for the pose, that was great. Now, where are we heading off to now? India, I think. India, I bet we can get some more paper. Whoa, it's a long way. Ah, yeah, so East India. I think we're in Mukateshtra Temple, a 10th century temple dedicated to Shiva. Okay, and I found this wonderful image of this dancer it's an Ashida um, uh, Odisha dancer, sorry, which is a classical Indian dance um, used to express religious stories and spiritual ideas. So, really cool. I think, yeah, this, and written into it, this dance was, um, uh, th this type of dance was actually banned by the, when the, there was the British colonial rule there. Uh, so, and after we, after, after, independence the Indians uh, have really brought it back and and it's really popular now apparently um, so yeah let's give this a go lovely sort of uh, trinkets and decorations and jewelry all over uh, the, the pose here nice sort of C curve to start us off uh, so 15 minutes quite a bit of time Pop it, good. You're having fun and yours and they're messy. That's exactly what we want. Brilliant. June, glad to have, glad to hear you're doing you're doing well and you've got you're having some fun. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so what should we go with this time? Um not sure, not so sure. Um I think I'm gonna change tack. Gonna try and do some watercolours. Now I haven't tried doing watercolors on this uh, easel. It's up, it's on an, on an angle, so it's all probably gonna drip down, but I'll try and make that part of the, uh, part of the, part of the picture. So starting with some watercolors, I think. Maybe a, a quick sketch, and then, yeah, maybe see what else we can add to it. Cool. Oh, I forgot to set up my hairdryer for the uh, watercolors. Um, maybe I'll do it after the break with that and I'll set it up real quick. Yeah. Or I'll get Max to set it up for me. <laughs> hey Max. Oh, I've got it here, brilliant. <laughs> got it. Yes. So hair dryer I can use on the watercolors to uh, dry them nice and quickly and then continue sort of multimedia on top of them. Um, if you haven't got a hair dryer, not to worry. Start with the pencil, start with the, the other materials and then finish off with the, with the wet media. Cool, let's do it. 15 minutes. Hope you enjoy. Got it, got it sorted. Oh, we've got one. Yeah. We've got two now. <laughs> do you want me to do like dry along as you draw? Actually, my hair's a bit damp. Could you? Yeah, I'll get those straighteners out. <laughs> what do you want to pan? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lovely pose. Yeah, I got some nice birds in the garden. Uh, 
it's not like a soundtrack that we've added. <laughs> Get this curve. So I think I'm just going to really roughly sketch in the figure and put down some colour. Hope you enjoy this one. I'm going to stay well away from faces today. <laughs> we'll have to revisit that. Next week, we're going to be looking at uh, hands and feet, tips for drawing hands and feet. So if that's your, if you struggle with that, that might come in handy. All right, I'm getting carried away with the drawing. Let's just finish it. Finish this little sketch. Okay, let's get some watercolors on there. What sort of red is that? It's like a quite a mid red, it's almost cool, but it's warm in some places. A bit brighter than that, I think. Cool. Here we go. It's dripping that's happening. That's cool. She's got red feet. It's a red in there as well. <laughs> okay, let's mix sort of like a darker, darker color. It's almost like a purple, isn't it? That. Darker part of the shirt, the skirt. Sorry, it's not a leotard this week. All right, let's try with this. One thing with watercolor is always, it's always tricky. You've got to mix enough of the color, so I always mix too much. 
um, and then you've always got something left over and you won't run out an important point Right, I think I'm going to put in some a little bit of skin tone colour and then I'll get the hairdryer up. See if I can lift out a few areas to make them lighter. So I'm just wetting with the, the brush and lifting with some tissue. Nice and dry. Right. Now, what should I use on that? Maybe some charcoal. What about, how about charcoal pencil? So, isn't it? I think I'm going to put on them, them jewels and a necklace and everything in a bit. Yeah. Charcoal's made it look a bit muddy. But, yeah, I think we'll be all right.
<laughs> oh, this is a real mess, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, lots of fun. Welcome to the stream, Naomi. Um, I'm not sure there's much to learn tonight, but I just sort of hopefully hoping to inspire you with some some nice images and different cultures from around the world. So yeah, maybe get out get out of the stream tomorrow night or something. And give it a go, get some materials out that you haven't used in a while and just have a play. One minute left. Ah. I almost was going to make these 10 minutes. I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> few seconds. Cool. I think that's it. We'll have to leave it there. Maybe a little wash the foreground so it's not quite so empty a little bit of something in there cool how did you do let me know send them in yeah I don't know about this <laughs> bit ambitious I think <laughs> let me know what you think um, <laughs> I uh, I quite like the I quite like the the looseness of the watercolor, you know. Um, but I think you know maybe leaving some more sharpness and more contrast for the for the jewels. I think that the chalk there didn't quite work, did it? But it's all good. It's all good. Just a bit of fun. Cool. Right, we got one more pose before the break. So. Change your paper, get ready. Actually, before the break, uh, before the, uh, the pose, I just wanted to show you this. I've got this uh, this book, I don't know if you can see. 
Yeah. This is kind of what inspired this week. I got this, found this book, Fashion Drawing in Vogue, and uh, in in there it's got some wonderful kind of mixed media, um, well, traditional um, illustrations of fashion, and also mixed media, and some really some really nice uh, illustrations. And I thought, yeah, we can do that. We can we can travel the world. And um, yeah, let's find some more. Look at that. Nice. Maybe I'll show you on the show you like this. <laughs> Lovely sort of varied styles and inks and all sorts. Yeah. So sort of illustration-y, mixed media type thing. Uh, we've got one more pose this half, so let's see where we're going. Heading off from India. Where are we going? Ah, yeah, Thailand, brilliant, Thailand. Ah, okay, so I got this fantastic image of a, um, a novice monk at Wat Mayong Buddhist Temple. Okay, um, I think it's a wonderful image. Really nice light, um, lovely composition there, um, and you've also got the little cat. So, again, fifteen minutes for this one. Um, try and use some mixed media and and have some fun. What am I going to do? I want to put down a load of orange, I think, just to begin with, and then draw over the top of it. I think that's what I want to do. Cool. So good luck, everyone. Um, yeah, a few little things about, I'll start the timer. A few little things about Thailand that I found out really, really cool things. Um, it, it used to be called the Kingdom of Siam. Um, and of course that's where the cats come from, the Siamese cats, um, and even conjoined twins. That's where the first like historical case was, uh, was n noted. Uh, so Siamese twins and apparently it's a good luck present to give a pair of Siamese twins, uh, sorry, not Siamese twins, Siamese cats to a bride, uh, on her wedding day. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. And one of my good friends actually is half Thai and she was telling me all about some of the, the, the cultures and and uh, and feet and we've got some feet in this picture and apparently feet are you know considered the lowest point in the body and kind of like uh, no good you know and it's actually rude to point your feet at someone so if you're ever in Thailand be careful of lifting your leg up and or crossing your legs and putting your feet don't point your feet at someone. <laughs> they might get a bit pissed. Cool. So, let's do it. I've wasted a few minutes. Let's get to it. That's it, orange. Let's just grab some orange down. So, Cute cat. 
So cool. I love all these folds in the fabric. I'm not sure why they're called these. It's not a kimono, I know that. <laughs> robes I guess so charcoal's having a little bit of trouble gripping onto that orange but not a problem quite like this kind of mixed effect maybe I'll come on with something stronger in a minute shaped head Draw this cat as well, fantastic. I think we should do a life drawing class where the model brings in their pet and we have all sorts of cats and dogs and hamsters. <laughs> we just have to have a taxidermist on hand to make sure they stay still or you know just take a picture Yeah, bring your goldfish. <laughs> Brilliant. Actually, one of my friends has just got some really strange fish. They're like, um, I think they're called os o like ocelot or something. I don't know. And they're, they're like um, that fish that can. Uh, it's like a salamander type thing. It can regrow limbs. Yeah, I had no idea you could have them as a pet. Um, but it's pretty cool. Apparently they grow to like quite big, like a foot foot long. So with these folds, try and imagine, uh, uh, you know, folds, they're, they're always functional. So imagine where the, where it's like uh, pinching and coming together. 
try and follow the flow of the fabric. sort of coming from above isn't it sort of off to the right perhaps try and think of that I'm really battling against the orange the waxy crayon orange but it's kind of it's kind of nice it's like a misty nice effect what experimenting is all about, right? <laughs> okay. Five minutes left, or just over. Oh, Lydia said she went and did a, a life drawing session at Colchester Zoo. Brilliant. I've done that, actually going with a friend and just grab grab a sketchbook and draw tigers and everything. Was that an, like an organized day or was that just a trip out? Sounds great. Can't wait to draw more from life and uh, start being able to move around again. Yeah, A A X O L O T L, axolotl. Is that what it's called? A little fish. <laughs> I've no idea what they're called. getting lost in the drawing like a meditation I think it's the best form of meditation drawing it's a good place to be okay Just a suggestion of surrounding. small. 
but thinking maybe I can add some highlights. Add some white. So I've got a bit of chalk, perhaps. Oh, there we go. chalk up here. I've got the white chalk pencil, but I was thinking the roughness of the chalk might, uh, like a chalk pastel might be a bit better. But we'll give this a go. Just, uh, I think, don't want to overdo it, just a few touches of this, picking up the light, if possible. battling with that orange. Maybe if I'd put a chalk pastel down. Yeah, I think I'll leave it. See, it's battling with the orange. It doesn't want to come out. Oh, well, good to know. Got another minute. I'm really looking forward to seeing your experiments and what you guys have come up with and even just your pencil pencil sketches avatar yeah it does look a bit like avatar doesn't it this guy did he have like a blue thing on his forehead like a uh, tilk from uh star trek uh, star uh, <laughs> what is it sg1 i love that guy Oh, we've run out of time. Cool. I like that. Let's have a look. There's my monk, my novice monk. Yeah, quite sort of somber with a splash of orange across the page. Shame we couldn't get some highlights. I might go in uh, later on and do add a bit of gouache or something just to bring out the highlights. I think that might work. Um, right, don't forget to send your work in. Really looking forward to seeing it. We're going to take a, talk, a short uh, tea, tea break. And then after that, we're back with, what are we back with? We're back with Slovakia, Namibia, Bhutan, and seeing your lovely work. So I'll see you in five minutes.
Tuesday night, work is done, can't go out, blue rolls gone, kettles on, put your kettle on, pencils out, news is off, got take out, spend all night with good friends, best friends, life drawing. Your sketchbooks out. Everybody's drawing. That's what it's about. Quarantine is boring. Get your sketchbooks out. Lock down life drawing. Ooh. Get your sketchbooks out. Everybody's drawing. That's what it's about. It's what it's about. Quarantine is boring. Quite boring. Get your sketchbooks out. I got my sketchbook out. Lock down life drawing. Hey, we're back. Hope you enjoyed your tea or got the kettle on at least. Um, I got some water and coffee actually today. Mm. Mm. Cheers, everyone. Right, hope you enjoyed that. So, where are we off to next? Let's take a look and then we'll work out what we're going to use, what materials. Right, so from Wat Mayong in Thailand. Where are we heading? Mm. Slovakia. Brilliant. Oh, this is a lovely, lovely little town. Look at that. So highest number of castles and, and chateaus per, per capita in, in, um, in Slovakia. Little, little factoid. And they also, oh, they also love their folklore. Okay, they're really proud of their folklore and their traditions. Um, and actually, you know, dresses and, and clothing like this was still in, still being used by sort of the older generations uh, not so long ago. And then it's seen a massive resurgence um, and, and lots of um, Slovakians, you know, really proud of their heritage and their folklore. And it's coming back into fashion. Lots of people getting married in these, um, these clothes and, and similar things. So, yeah, really nice. And, and I think the, the kind of philosophy behind it is that there's like a, 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 an ideal harmony of elements from head to toe. So you've got all of these natural elements weaving in and out and different colors from head to toe. So really nice. Let's give it a go. Um, I, think, I think I'm gonna do some pen. Some pen, start with pen and then see how I go with this one. Maybe I'll start with a, a roller ball and, and maybe do some Sharpies and some other sort of pastels and things. Right, let's give it a go. 15 minutes, I hope you enjoy. Away we go. Okay. The monk needs something to sit on. Yeah, he really does. I'll have to put in some shadow and a little bit of a step or something. Cool. Ah, right, okay. Where are we, where are we starting with this? Okay. Some pen. I wanna do 
sort of the quite a direct drawing approach. But I want to try and with that use try and find the larger shapes first. play with some of this sort of intricate pattern um, with some of the pen and, and some other things. So thanks for drawing with me this evening. Hope it's hope you're enjoying. Right. Pen's so great to draw with because you sort of have to go with it. You know, you have to commit. It's a really good drawing practice, and you make mistakes all over the shot. But you know what? You just got to go with it, and you're going to make something of their mistakes. Um, you know, you might. I was drawing actually a little bit uh, for a, for a tutorial uh, yesterday, and I spilled a load of ink, uh, like a big blob blob of ink. With the pen and ink and it's fine you just got to go you go with it introduce more darker areas you know and uh and, and make it a feature so that's what we can do with the pen just keep going with it some lovely patterns and things Very sort of afraid to put on the face <laughs> with the pen. But we'll see. We might get there in the end. I think pen's great as well because after a while you kind of loosen up and you realise that more organic lines, more more variation is you know improving the drawing and and really worrying and being tight with it isn't so you get to about five minutes in or something and you start to loosen up actually all these floral patterns and things lovely stuff there isn't it across the knee Should have left the face alone. <laughs> oh. Oh well. we'll make it. We'll make it work somehow. Got to push them limitations, haven't you? Got to, got to challenge yourself. Or make faceless figures part of your style. <laughs>
It'd be quite good to just sort of invent bracelets to strengthen the uh, the idea of the wrist every now and again. Just pop on something that isn't there to that's going to help show the form. You need something to sell on third inch, and must put this plank in here. Bit of variation. So, when we were talking about uh, rhythm the other day, when you've got curves and things going on, it can be good to introduce a few straight lines into the background. Uh, because that all that's going to do is accentuate the the movement uh, in the foreground in the on the objects, so it kind of uh, you know contrasts and it? it's sort of uh, straight uh, lines uh, really really contrast against the uh, the curves and the patterns. Right, let's do a little bit of measuring. I think my dress is too small. So this part here should be equal to this part. So yeah, I'm falling short a little bit. So let's bring this down. Bring this down a bit more. Where does that shoe? So I know quite a lot of people don't like, really don't like measuring. Uh, in any sort of drawing or, 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 or life drawing and you know you don't have to do it all the time but I'd suggest you know if you're feeling like oh like if your intuitions like actually that might be a bit wrong you know it's a great tool to have in there to just measure and compare uh, things from your model and on your drawing you know what's the ratio here half half and half yeah I think I'm going to do a, a session in a few weeks where we do some long, longer poses, maybe you know, really quite long, and we look at all different techniques for accuracy, and we can go really in depth into that. So I think that might be good. Let me know if you'd like that. Right, let's put some pattern on here. Can't. It's not a folk uh, dress without some pattern, is it? How can I suggest flowers with sort of minimal effort and line? I haven't put any colour in yet. <laughs> Bobby says this is so infuriating. Oh no. Oh. Well, well done for keeping at it, Poppy. You've challenged your yourself and that's that's great. It's definitely a challenge for me. I'm sure it's better than you imagine. I, I really am. Send them in and, and let's have a look. You know, even if you're just capturing the essence of the pose or or the, the 
the costume, you know, the the the, the dress here. That's good enough, you know. We're not looking to produce photographs that already exists. This is a human response to something, you know. This is this is more than a photograph, right? This is a history recorded, but also your response and your emotion recorded. And if you're frustrated and if you're feeling rubbish that's great record that put that down on paper that's human isn't it all sorts of and things so I've only got a few minutes left so I actually want to try and put some color in Tying the bow, I think. And she at the back of her head. Tying the bow. Right, let's try and put some colour in. Got some pens. Go with some pens, shall we? Oh, it's coming out quite dark. Oh well. I think we can have a few darker areas. It's not a problem. Color, aren't they? Pencil. So it's a bit lighter on the page. seconds left Cool. We've got a little suggestion of colour at least, a little bit of something. Um, yeah, I think and, and I think where this paper is a little bit grey, the pens have, have like uh, you know melted into the paper. So maybe a, a white paper for the for the felt tip pens. Cool. There's the uh, folklore lady. Cool. We'll, uh, we've got two more drawings, so I'll give you a chance to change the paper and we'll uh, get on that flight path. Here we go. So we're leaving Slovakia. Heading all the way 
over to Africa. And we're actually, oh, it's, yeah, it's a Himba village. Okay, so somewhere around here, there's a Himba um, orphanage, I believe, um, in Namibia. So a little bit about this, um, these people. It's, um, so Namibia is the second least densely populated country in the world, second only to Mongolia. But Mongolia, bear in mind, is a lot, lot bigger. Um, and this is a Himba woman. She's uh, indeed the, the indigenous people in this area. Uh, they're livestock farmers, so they count their wealth by their um, the amount of cattle they have. Um, they're like quite off the grid, you know. It's quite quite amazing. Um, they are famous for covering themselves in. How are you saying the country's name? Namibia. Is it Nambia? And it could be Nambia. It could be Nambia. It might be Nambia. It sounds. It looks I mean, like Namibia. You're making me doubt myself now. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe it is Nam Nam Namibia. Where's our maths teacher? Where's <laughs> Where? Who's got it right? Is, is Jake saying it right or is Max saying is it? Is right? it Namibia or Nambia? <laughs> I think it's Nambia. Let's let the chat decide. Okay. Anyway, we're talking about. We're talking about the Himba. Okay, I think I got that right. So, famous, they're famous for covering themselves in this cosmetic paste, okay, that they make, made of butter, uh, butter fat, and ochre pigment that they find in the ground. And I think it's kind of fascinating. They use this to protect their skin. So they rub it all over their skin and, um, and also their hair to protect it from the, from the sun um, because of the lack of water. So, really kind of ingenious. And, uh, and and they've got this amazing red glow about them that, that um, I'm sure, you know, the different cosmetic companies have tried to imitate uh, and, and try to see if there's a product there that they can sell. But yeah, I really love it. Um, and they've also got some really nice tradi traditions. So they, they put this clay into their, their hair and look at the, the, the end of the hair, they're like puffing out. It's really cool. They've got these the, their tradition, their culture is very based on uh, hairstyle and uh, jewelry as well. So if you're if you've got certain jewelry, you're going to be of a higher status, and the hairstyle might indicate that you're married or that you're, um, uh, uh, you know, um, higher up in society. So I think this is a really interesting uh, image, um, and yeah, the, if you're wondering that. That headpiece is sculpted from sheepskin, uh, and it's got a little, little um, jewelry attached to it as well. But that's an indication that this woman's married. Okay, so again, status and hair, and hair, um, uh, really, really interesting culture. So, fifteen minutes for this one. Um, yeah, maybe I'm thinking maybe some charcoal and some uh, sanguine to sort of echo that ochre. Uh, color, but feel free to draw in any way you like, and I hope you enjoy. Nambia, Nambia, Ray reckons Nambia. Well, you know, you don't come here to learn about uh, how to pronounce <laughs> countries, do <you? laughs> Right, brilliant. Let's do this. I'm going to start with some sand and pencil. Let's see how we get on. Oh, Craig says I was right. We'll never know. Apparently, we'll never know. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Natasha thinks I'm right. <laughs> Let's have a poll. <laughs> Right, so quite a portrait, uh, quite a lot of portrait in this image. So I'm going to start, start there. Top and bottom of the head. Mm. Central line. 
minutes. If you're into portraits and you missed the portrait week, go and check that out. I think that was week two. We looked at lots of different measuring measuring tools. Have you Googled it? Yeah, I looked it up. What is it? It's Namibia. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I'll get you I'll get you one of these days. I'll get you one of these days. Namibia! Brilliant. <laughs> I knew it. Cool. <laughs> okay. Really enjoy drawing portraits, just finding them proportions. Remember, it's always about the it's all about the um, distances between the the, um, the features and not necessarily how well you draw the features themselves but that kind of the relationship between the features and then we can go on and start to indicate you know changes from light to dark lines for change in tone lines for change in color folds in skin everything just note it all down get it on the paper poppy called it namibia <laughs> brilliant so yeah just start noting some things down I think of this early stage of drawing as just kind of giving yourself information so that later on the drawings the drawings are a lot easier. And sort of carving away sides of the face. carried away with the details. I really like this um, this shadow on the on the face here uh, cast by the, the strands of hair. Really nice to try and capture that. I remember the tops of the eyes are casting a shadow and They've got the eyelash there as well, so they're, they're the kind of the most important part of the eye there. Cool. 
Cool. Now let's put on some of this interesting headgear, headdresses. Creepy that headdress, isn't it? It's great. Really cool. Right, where's the neck aligning with? So it's aligning with the mouth there, corner of the mouth. And then we can start to put on some of these wonderful, uh, you know, necklaces and things swooping around and overlapping. Really great, fun to draw. I might measure the um, this part, let's have a look. Okay, so I've sort of measured from the chin to the eyes, follow that down, and that's kind of where this hoop is, so I don't want to go too low. Just going to check that. Yeah. So I might have gone a bit low with this one. Not to worry. wrap them lines around to accentuate the form. Oh, another th interesting thing about this culture, right, is they 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 bathe themselves, they like cover themselves in a sheet and they have a little fire and they bathe themselves in smoke in order to clean themselves. So they don't use water for that, obviously, because they, they may have trouble uh, sourcing water. So they, they clean themselves with smoke like put little herbs and things in a fire and um, and yeah let the smoke do the work I think it smell like Redding Festival or something wouldn't it wouldn't be my choice but <laughs> look at this piece of jewellery here look at that amazing Oh, happy birthday, James. James's birthday. Brilliant. Hope you're having a good day. Let's make sure these are coming out wide enough. Fantastic things, aren't they? Okay, so I've got four minutes, so I think I think I'm gonna um, add a bit of tone. I think um, maybe start with the face and see how we get on. 
So. Not a likely hatch in, the, in this direction. I'm very good at sort of losing definition after shading, so I'm going to try and keep that definition as I'm going along. Poppy says, I'm um, Jake Opedia. No, Poppy, I just I just spent some time on Wikipedia before <laughs> the tree. <laughs> right, a minute and a half left. Afford to be a bit more suggestive in other areas now. Got this headdress. Oh, time's up. No. I'm going to cheat and do a little a few more minutes. Really enjoying this. <laughs> to stay loose and a lot can be done with you know just 10 seconds or so when you're against the pressure cool 
cool. I think we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. That was great to draw. Uh, to draw you. Yeah, fantastic. So, um, could just spend loads of time, can you? Um, well, and, and as I said, you know, we'll have a. I think we'll do a longer pose uh, night. Not not uh, in a couple of weeks, I think. But yeah, there you go. There's the. Um, let's take another look. How did you get on with the Namibia Kimba woman? Can't wait to see these. Please send it in. Love these um, big poofs of hair. I think that's that's brilliant. Um, such an interesting culture. Um, okay, so last last place. We have got twenty minutes for this one. Let's see where we're going. Ah, Himalayas, yes, the kingdom of Bhutan. Look at this wonderful temple up in the mountains. I love it. I love it. Bhutan means uh, land of thunder, uh, and the, the Bhutan was given that name because it's up in the up in the mountains, and the thunder rolls through there. And uh, yeah, you can imagine the storms that they get. Another little thing, cool thing about um, Bhutan is it's the only country in the world with the whose largest export is renewable energy. Uh, so, yeah, a little. I think that was really cool. Uh, they sell hydroelectric water, uh, hydroelectric energy. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, let's get started. I think I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt watercolor again. But spend. I think spend a bit more time on it. This image. This is from the dance of the black hats, um, uh, not a good traditional dance in Bhutan, uh, and absolutely wonderful co costume. Lovely flowing lines, um, you folds in the fabric. I thought we had we had to draw this. I thought it was absolutely beautiful, and he's beating that drum there with that with that strange kind of um, snare thing. I think it's great. Um, okay, let's get started. This one's going to be tricky. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. It's got movement. It's got a bit of everything, but I love the colors. I think if we focus on them colors and the movement, it should come together. Um, and maybe looking at them darks as well. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to start the timer. And we're off. So 20 minutes. Have fun and see how we get on. Oh, move that. There we go. Okay, so this guy. This guy's cool. So I'm just blocking out a sketch and I'm going to fill in it, fill it in with color, all to color. I want to be as fast as possible and give myself enough time. Another fun fact in Bhutan, every new year, um, everyone becomes, every citizen becomes a year older. So they don't celebrate birthdays traditionally, but it's a great way so that they don't forget people's birthdays. They can celebrate together. I thought that was quite, quite magnificent. Right. Focus on the big shapes, Jake. You're spending too much time trying to remember facts. Okay, that hand there. Big 
shapes, big shapes, big shapes. looks like a blocky mess at the moment but that's great I've got that information that I need and that means I don't have to worry so much about proportions and finding it all once uh, I'm using the, the colors the, the multicolor sorry Okay, let's get them watercolors out. Fifteen minutes left. So I'm going to start with the lighter colors first as I'm using watercolor. And try and build up, build up slowly. Oh. There we go. <laughs> having camera trouble this week. Okay, let's do this. Just making sure I've got enough on the palette. All the little spots of yellow, just putting them in. Nice. Right, I'm going to move on to the, the light red. Make sure I mix enough. So I wouldn't recommend doing multicolors on a tilted surface like this. Um, you can have lots of running color. But I want 
you guys to be able to see. So I'm going in with them first light layers. Gotta work quick. Don't forget to send your work in. Can't wait to see it in a moment. This is the last pose uh, before we take a look at the viewer gallery. So I don't have time to mix the colors exactly, but I think I'm just going to put down approximate, approximate colors. go in with a second layer in a moment. Got to be so quick. Halfway through.
stop them drips. I really need to dry, dry the paper and then go in with, start going in with some darks. Okay, let's see if we can uh, start to put some dimension and some uh, uh, something into this. Okay, so shadow areas. I think I just need to go ahead and forcefully make the statements. Five minutes left. Hey, hey. Right. Let's do this. I'm less worried about the, is this the right color now? And I'm more thinking, is this the right value? Okay.
soften some edges. Two minutes left. I need to uh, spend some more time on this. <laughs> That's really fun, just to sort of squint your eyes and think, okay, what's the what's the essence of this? Can I get it down in such a short time? Mm, perhaps I need a bit more kind of orange and yellow. Yeah, just don't have the time to uh, get it mixed and everything. Well, a lot of fun on the list. more vibrant in the colors and everything I think that's what I'd like to do okay but you know something there maybe if I put in a, a background it could start to pop um, but yeah lots of fun let's have a look at a distance Things always look good, far away, don't they? Hold on a sec. <laughs> Put it out the window. <laughs> Brilliant, I really wanted to draw that um, that guy, that dancer. I thought he was just so full of energy and everything and I think I might have to revisit it. Um, you know, it's got some energy, it's got some, um, some of that dance and, and, and that culture. So. This is the best bit where I get to see your work, um, get blown away by the efforts and, and everything that you put into the into this. Yeah, let's have a look. So uh, hopefully we've got something ready. Thanks for joining me this week. It's been it's been a blast. Um, give me one second. Let's have a look. Week six, viewer gallery. Let's have a look. Boom. Okay. Oh, look at this. Brilliant. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So, so pleased that you're getting out the materials, you're mixing the medias. Look at this, this is beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's like, it's it's jumping straight out of that fashion illustration book, isn't it? Bam, I love it. Um, 
I absolutely love it. And I, I think where you've used the watercolour in such a minimal way, you know, I think perhaps I was trying to create a whole, you know, three dimensional picture. But the time that you've, you, you've got, just putting that dash of colour down and, and tying it together with some lines is brilliant. So I'm really, really pleased with this. Louise, well done. Amazing. I love your work. Really, lo really lovely. Um, let's see what else we got. Well done, Louise. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Okay, so really, you know, taking uh, that that pattern element from the dress and, and, you know, them swirls and them little hatches and everything, just to add a bit of interest there. I really like that. Nice proportions. Um, she looks moody, doesn't she? She's got that kind of, that she was tying a bow in her hair. That's all nice. And that arm on the right-hand side looks like it's sort of coming towards us. So really well done. Really well done. Oh, look at this. Love it. Nick, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So you've got, again, a lovely kind of illustrative. It almost looks um, almost looks Japanese, doesn't it? The way it's, uh, 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 the, the illustrative elements of the, on the dress uh, are kind of flat. But I love it. It's decorative. It's, it, it, you know, that's, that's a really nice aesthetic. I really, I really like that. Um, yeah, really well done, Nick. Absolutely awesome. Awesome. Are they, I'm thinking, are they watercolor pencils or are they just, are they just normal pencils with a bit of watercolor? What is that? Let us know. Yeah, colors standing out. Amazing. Brilliant. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is amazing too. This, this is why, why this is my favorite part. Look at this. That's got such of, so much of her character in it and so much going on there. Like there's a story there. There's the, the eyes, the trinkets, the, the necklaces, the, the hair, the, the texture of the hair there. I absolutely love it. Is that Laura? I think that's Laura. Love it. Yeah, really well done. That's amazing. I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. Oh, look at this as well. So this is kind of like your your you've got that mixture of elements, and I think this is. I've uh, we had this uh, the same artist last week, and I'm not sure what she uses here, um, or or he. Sorry, um, but the the I love that kind of just that that mixing together of the uh, of the colors and everything. And it's just, it, yeah, it's, it's just, it's smoky and it's, it's really different. You know, it's really, I've not seen the materials being used like that. Um, so, you know, love it. Really nice to experiment. And yeah, and you've introduced some color that wasn't there in the image as well. So brilliant. We get to see into your mind a little bit. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, look at that. Digital drawing here. That's that's amazing. That's really cool that you can you can uh, crop it like that and draw straight next to the photo. Really good idea. Really nice. I love this hatching. This you know even though it's 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 on the on the screen. I, I wonder if that's a tablet or drawn straight onto the screen. I'd love to know. I'd love to know. Um, I love it though. Yeah, you know, this is this is giving me like a. I don't know. I'm thinking like Hockney, Hockney vibes. This is, yeah, it's wonderful. And and what a the kind of juxtaposition of this technology and her uh, tribe and 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 their culture, you know. Digital envy, Natasha says. Oh, okay. It was a whack on tablet. Well done, Ian. I love it. Really like it. Oh, cool! Great sketch. The dark, the darkness of the, and, and the shadow of the the hair there, and the, and these uh, braids coming down, and really confidently putting in these necklaces and that that larger shape there. I can tell you've really studied the face, and again, you know, as I was saying, it's not so much about the the features, but it's their relationship towards each other. Okay, and you've got a nice. Uh, face there it really comes together well 
really it's really good got a bit of emotion in it too well done oh look at this okay again with that kind of orangey ochre uh, uh, feel this is a popular one in the submissions isn't it this is I thought that was a fantastic image Kimber woman Namibia now we, we even know how to pronounce it I love that and I really like as well the 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 contrasting colors just a little bit of blue in there just hey you know a little bit of blue really nice um rendering nice nice shading especially you know with the time that we were given i'm really yeah i think that's really confident really nicely drawn oh cool so again we've got that that misty uh uh style where the the the, the, the they're blending together June, thank you so much. Thanks for joining. Yeah, it's getting a bit late, isn't it? <laughs> thanks, but thanks, thanks. Oh, thanks for joining, guys. I really, I really have had fun this evening. So, uh, that, oh, I love this. So this is the that drum and 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 this kind of like dance of the 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 black hat um, in Bhutan. I lo I love it. Uh, the, even even got a bit of energy in the green in the background you know uh, it just shows you that the whole thing is like a dance and, and everything and a little bit of added pattern on the on the uh, lower part of the dress really nice yeah thanks for joining everyone guys really uh really was good to just kind of kick back and and do do some kind of illustrative fun you know test out our skills Ethan love it confident sketch could tell that was yours a mile off brilliant really nice love the hatching love that energy love it you know uh it's almost uh, manga-esque isn't it it's, i love it um really 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 cool really cool a little bit of smudging going on just to add a little you know another element really nice look at the suggestion of the um umbrella just tch, 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 tch. really cool. Well done, Ethan. Fantastic. Oh, here's another good one. Look at that. So that was a three minute sketch right at the start and you've really uh, observed them folds and then, you know, the, the kind of the, the composition of his, uh, what's it called? You know, his robes, you've really studied the way they're folding and they're, and they're overlapping and everything. I really like that. And, and you've got a bit of depth there on the hat. Got the underside of the hat. Really cool. Nice confident sketch. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so back to, um, where were we? Thailand. I love it. Well done, Cheryl. Really good to have you drawing with us this evening. Love the, I love that. It's, yeah, it's it's really cool. I, I, I like the way you've, You've followed the fabric round, you know, look that group, that the his shoulder and everything that's just popping out of the fabric really nicely. I love the cat. The cat's face is quite detailed and that's kind of like the center of interest I feel on this uh, image. And it, and it really was, you know, that was the story, wasn't it? The story was the cat and the, and their relationship. It's really nice. Really nice. And I like that foot as well on the left, really well observed. Look at this. Oh, this is brilliant. Love it. Again, that awesome pen and an ink or, or watercolor style. Really confident, really strong, sort of like fashion design illustration. And you've managed to capture all of them, them details of the, of the, of the necklace and the, and the, the, the belt there that kind of thing but you know I found really hard to, to go in and get it that get that detail you've captured it there it's fantastic and even some nice pattern on the lower part well done really nice mm. well done Melvin mm. so I just had a glass of water this is there yeah, a really nice Again, you know, following them folds. I really like the um, the kimono on the right. 
that's like a, just a little suggestion even just the 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 dabbing of the the brush there for the flowers and everything that's really nice and even that that blue creeping into the face just gives a little bit of dimension so that you can you can see you know the the turning edge of the face and uh, uh, yeah really nicely done the the strokes are very kind of asian they've got a great feel to them i really like it yeah we've got quite a lot this week to, to go through i'm really happy you've all been great at sending your work in look at this okay lovely some pastels and some oh lovely drawings starting with the colombian uh, dancer on the left really nice really confident i love this this the ruffles of the dress and the movement there and then in the middle you know you've got that pose perfectly haven't you that, that with the arms in the air and that dance what was it it was a Odyssey dancer, classical dance, expressing religious stories and everything. I, I love that. And again with the with the um, the monk, you've actually sat him down on something which I didn't manage to get to. So well done. No, I like that. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Love the pen. So this, what is this? Uh, like a markers. Love it. Look at that, Indian dancer, Japan, Colombian dancer, Poppy. This is fabulous. This is really fabulous. You should be really, really happy with this. You've got a page there that is, well, it's blown me away. It's, it's awesome. It's really awesome. I love the um, the mixture of the markers on the on the on the dress there. I really like that, and that swirl of the. Um, the um what is it the um uh, is it an umbrella yeah the swirl of the umbrella and you've got all the lovely little details of the indian dancer too all them little lovely little details and you've got her face the hair wrapping round uh, uh and the, and that part of the shirt i love it i'm really really impressed i love this oh look at these okay lovely texture lovely use of the ink that's, oh that's wonderful I really like the way you've done the background and it's popped out that's really nice just little touches of skin tone uh, and little touches of color it's it's enough isn't it it's, it's fabulous well done okay back to back to Louise's one there I think we've got another viewer gallery to have a look at I'm gonna give it a go I think Max has put another one together. Thank you, Max. Let's see if we can look at a few more before we go. Thanks, Melvin. Thanks, everyone. Ah, yes, more images, brilliant. Louise, again, love it. So cool. This is like a, uh, yeah. Yeah, and it looks it's jumps it's like straight out of Princess Mononoke or something. It's wonderful. And uh the I love all like the little uh white gaps in between everything and the you know the the mixture of colours there on the necklace. It's wonderful, really nice, and you've captured the poof of the hair, haven't you, on, on each side. And really well drawn. Really nicely drawn. Wonderful images. Can't wait for you to share them. And uh, uh, yeah, I love it. Well done, Louise. Oh, cool. I can't see the name on this. Is that, is that Lynn? I'm not sure about that, but uh, love this. Okay, well, it, it looks, it's a little bit blurry, but it looks like um, the image, not the drawing, but the, it looks like uh, pastels um, or pens. That is spot on. That has got that has got so much character uh, and so much going on there. Really nice, really really nice. Is that Lin? Yeah, I really like his face as well. He's kind of like he's a cool guy. Yeah, I like this. The drum. Look at that drum. That light side of the drum and that wonderful dark blue band wrapping round saying hey you know this is the this is the edge of the drum and this is you know a bit of decoration i love it 
really cool really cool lovely drawing here Cheryl I can tell you've paid attention in week two you've got all your measurements and your and your guidelines there on the face brilliant nice dark um, lines for the the top eyelashes um, lovely rendering on the nose and you can see that little button nose type thing there really nice yeah really like it Cheryl well done it's a good portrait oh cool oh I like this so chucking down some some charcoal on the page and some lines some gestural lines maybe maybe that's a warm-up or something I don't know and then just a really minimal interpretation of this um, of this um, this monk in Japan and yeah I love it I wouldn't change anything about it don't you don't you love it yeah really 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 cool well done everyone I'm so I'm so overwhelmed that this is brilliant wonderful stuff that's really nice ah oh, great energy here look at the look at the shading on the on the on the fabric look at the, the ripples of the fabric and that that's just wonderful really cool I thought that was you know that was going to be a real difficult image um, but there was something about it I just had to put it in this week and I'm really glad I did you've come up with some wonderful interpretations of it this is yeah love it and look at the way that you've you've shaded uh, dark you know it, behind that arm that's coming towards us doesn't it pop out because you've got that that dark uh, uh, kind of mid-ground uh, yeah really like it good contours good ellipse ellipse on the drum yeah really cool well done oh this is cool this is so cool okay Lydia it looks like this is great so proper mixed media here we've got looks like sharpie and and pastels yeah you've captured it really nice I love the hat on this you've done such a good job on that hat but I mean all of it's great the colors are so strong aren't they they're just jumping out at you and that what is that like that little pattern on the on the leg there and the, the circles on this this dress um, it's wonderful really well done well done Lydia I hope that's Lydia yeah <laughs> such good work this week oh and we're back to Louise's portrait which is wonderful I love it wow wow well done everyone absolutely amazing I hope you enjoyed I loved looking at your work um yeah blown away this week brilliant um we experimented we had it we had a go didn't we sometimes it didn't work sometimes it did I hope that you've done at least something this week that's that, that surprised you okay and you you've you've enjoyed experimenting um, yeah uh, uh, just thank you um, keep sending your work in if you haven't sent in that last one I'd love to see it uh, that last drawing um, and we'll make sure to get them in the next in the stream next week let's have a look really quick what we're gonna do next week uh, here we go so next week yeah tips for drawing hands and feet so everyone's kind of uh, a bit uh, I don't like drawing hands and feet and they're easy to avoid in a drawing aren't they but no we're gonna go head on we're gonna we're gonna look at them and we're gonna we're gonna draw them uh, with confidence okay we're gonna push that limitation or whatever it is you know we're gonna go for it so tips on drawing hands and feet and also and some longer poses so some full figure poses we're not just going to be doing hands and feet um, some nice poses to draw we've got another fantastic artist spotlight didn't have one this week but next week um, wonderful artist um, uh, she's going to be uh, hopefully uh, we're going to get to look at her work and again yeah sharing your wonderful work so I hope you, I hope you can make next week really hope you've enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and tell your friends and uh, yeah well thanks for joining me good night I'll see you next week
Thanks, guys. Sketchbooks out. I got my sketchbook out. Lock down life drawing.